I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, cards. We're down to the final four editions of your daily announcements this school year. I'm Kaya. And I'm Arya. Let's, Let's begin, begin your daily, daily announcements. announcements. It's the fourth day of Sage's Rainbow Week. Here's a quick preview of what's going on for the rest of Rainbow Week. Today's topic is challenges and accomplishments. There'll be a freshman advisory presentation with Sage members. Tomorrow is the conclusion of Rainbow Week with the theme, Celebration. Wear colors of the rainbow to show your support for LGBTQ plus youth. There'll be a guest speaker, Nemo, during ASR 1 and 2 in the North LMC. Sign up for ASR to attend. Chess Club is returning. Meetings will start at the end of this school year or at the beginning of next school year. Meetings will be held in Mr. Simon's room, room 2164, one ASR every two weeks. Scan the QR code below if you are planning on joining the club. No prior chess experience is needed. Bead the best tomorrow during long lunch. Spend your long lunch in the North LMC where you can make a bead bracelet or a decorative 90s pin. The girls' tennis preseason meeting for next fall is on Wednesday, May 29th. If you're interested in playing tennis next year, please make plans to come to the meeting and bring along a guardian. We will talk about the schedule for next year, what to expect, and a bunch of other things. The meeting will be at 5 p.m. in the North Commons. The boys' ultimate first team was back in action this week for the state tournament at University Bayfield. The boys outscored their opponents 65-8, to including a 13-3 win over Madison West on Sunday afternoon to win the program's first state championship. The team would like to thank its seniors, David, Grant, Cohen, Oliver, Aaron, Pierce, Ian, Henry, and Jackson for their hard work and leadership. Good luck and card love. The last investment club meeting of the year is happening tomorrow during ASR1 in room 3807. They'll check out the spring stock market competition, recognize this year's seniors, and talk about next year's leadership opportunities. See you there tomorrow. Hey Middleton High School students, are you passionate about your community, especially parks or arts? If yes, Mayor Kuhn is inviting you to be a part of the City of Middleton committees. This is your chance to make a real difference and amplify the youth voice in city affairs. There are two opportunities available. One, Parks Committee. Here, you would help in shaping the development and management of local parks. Two, Arts Committee. You would assist in promoting and integrating arts within our city. To apply, scan the QR code for a link to the application. After you submit your application, Mayor Kuhn will review it. Successful candidates will be recommended to the Common Council for approval. This is more than just volunteer work. It's your chance to help make Middleton a great place to live, work, and play. Get involved, contribute to your community, and maybe even set the path for your future career. Apply today and be a voice for your community. Don't forget to submit to the Cardinal Chronicles Art Hub by tomorrow. Any MHS or CSCS artist can submit for a chance to be featured on the Cardinal Chronicle website. The submission forms for quarter four are available with the QR codes on screen. Stop by the North LMC next Tuesday, May 28th and pick up a free Summer Reads book courtesy of the LMC. One book per student will be available while supplies last. And that's it for this week's announcements. There should be episodes of the Weather Report and Fake News coming up next. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, we have an important announcement for you from Minds Matter. Thank you for everyone who came to the Minds Matter Pickleball Tournament on Monday. Our winners were Mr. Zimdars and Mr. Bame, but there were so many other great teams and it was so much fun. We have yet another Minds Matter event this Friday, May 24th. Therapy dogs and a cat will be in the South LMC during ASR 1. Sign up in FlexiSketch under Club Minds Matter. It is completely free and we'd love to see you there. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another amazing segment of the weather. Happy last full normal week of school. Man, I cannot believe we only have 11 days left of school. Matt, what are your plans for the summer? I am getting married and then going on a honeymoon down in the Caribbean. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. I'm excited. A lot of planning left. I imagine your life is probably pretty busy right now. A little busy, yes. A little busy. What are you doing? Um, I'm coaching my daughter's softball team. My son is playing baseball, so there'll be a lot of time on the diamond. And then, you know, travel some, get out in the garden. You know, relax, just be outside. Sounds nice. Sounds like fun. Yeah, man, it's gonna be epic. Let's talk about the weather. Let's. All right, today will be sunny and warm with high temperatures reaching the upper 70s. There will be a little wind and very low mm. humidity. 
Then on Friday, we have a chance of rain and storms again. There's a chance for a storm or two tomorrow morning, depending on a couple of factors. But the biggest chance is for tomorrow afternoon. The storms may be on the stronger side, but don't expect anything as intense as Tuesday evening. This GIF is one forecast model's projected radar for Friday. It starts at 7 a.m. and goes until 1 a.m. on Saturday. It's currently showing a couple of different rounds of rain and storms throughout the day. So for you seniors tomorrow, good luck. Speaking of Tuesday evening, those storms left a lot of damage in their wake. We don't have any confirmed tornadoes in, Madison, in the Madison area, but we had plenty of very strong winds. I saw reports of wind speeds up to 85 miles per hour in downtown Madison, and that's why so many people lost power and had downed trees. Wow. Uh, every day, a weather office called the Storm Prediction Center records every severe storm report from around the country, and these reports help forecasters and researchers compare the forecasts to the actual weather impacts on the ground. Guess how many storm reports they logged in on Tuesday? I'm guessing in the hundreds. They logged nearly 600. Most of these were strong wind reports, but there were still many hail and a few tornado reports. This map of all those reports plotted, the blue dots are wind reports. Uh, reports from our area of Wisconsin are mostly wind related, though so there are a couple reports of large hail just south of Madison. All right, back to the forecast. Saturday is going to be a bit colder with the high temperatures in the low 70s, but still very nice. And then on Sunday, we are looking at another possibility of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Um, as of right now, these storms are not forecasted to be severe, but with any storm, there's always a possibility that they will overperform. The high temperature that day is down into the mid 60s. Finally, for Memorial Day, there is a chance of showers throughout the day and the temperature is going to be in the upper 60s. The forecasts for Sunday and Monday are likely to change, so keep an eye on them as we get closer. Let's talk about sports, shall we? So, sports seasons are wrapping up their regular season and entering postseason play. Today, boys and girls track have sectionals at Sauk Prairie High School, baseball takes on Sun Prairie West, and softball takes on Central at MHS. Good luck, Cardinals. Tomorrow, baseball plays Watertown and girls soccer varsity reserve takes on Arrowhead. Then on Saturday, girls soccer plays Madison East at Bree Stevens Field. Ooh, that sounds like a cool place to play. Yeah. That, that, bleh. man. Oh, that's you. That's all we have for this week's weather report. Thanks for tuning in and catch us next week. I'm Wayne. I'm Luke. And today our shout out goes to those seniors. As we wind down these days, emotions are on a constant roller coaster. Make sure you take a breath, enjoy the moment, and finish strong. Keep looking out for yourselves and your friends. Don't be afraid to talk to someone. See you next time. Hi, I'm famed Norwegian track star Jakob Ingebrigtsen. And I'm Ryan Brenner. And, and this, this is, is the, the fake, fake news. news. The weather boys have gone insane. Completely insane. Last week, they were seen barging into a real weather station, demanding advice to make their fake weather station better, but ran away crying after being called wannabe magic eight balls. Like, seriously, the lies they have been spreading about us is completely ridiculous. No, we did not receive a two-day suspension. We were gone for two days mourning the loss of our mental health after their last segment. No, we did not give them a fruit basket. It was vegetables. How do you not know the difference? Before you go accusing us again, you might want to fix that haircut loot. And Lane, just pretend this sentence is an insult. I couldn't think of anything. Hide your souls. Ooze Trust, the internet's busiest test taker here. Today I will be reviewing Advanced Placement Language and Composition Exam by College Board. The MCQs were pretty boring with generally readable passages, but with little interesting content. The meat of the exam, the FRQs, were pretty good. Overall, they were quite interesting. The rhetorical analysis was a bit strange, but it made for some solid essays. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this exam. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? One hour ago, I went into Wood Design 3, excited to continue my amazing project, when I noticed a few pieces were missing. Someone stole it, which is why I'm announcing a five thousand dollar bounty on the person who stole my precious age unknown gender unknown height unknown whereabouts unknown morality chaotic evil good luck as the end of the semester approaches i've been thinking we at fake news would like to take a moment to honor mr charlesworth for his outstanding performance at the school for his sometimes funny jokes and for his class pets that may or may not be stuffed animals. 
while we don't agree with your decision to abandon the pets in a random field five hours away, we just know your stand-up comedy career is going to be a success. Goodbye, Mr. C. The weather person asked why I look like a Tickle Me Elmo. To that, I say, Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? I'm saddened to announce rain has gone extinct. Reachers believe it's called the drought, but I think they are wrong. Stay tuned for the season three finale next week. I'm Oz Trust. And I'm Ryan Brenner. And, and this, this has been, been the fake news. news.